All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I'm doing, hopefully, a short presentation on one way that you can create your portfolio, electronic portfolio. And this is, uh, today is the 29th of April, so I hope to get this done and then show it in class today for people who are taking their first class at Rankin, but it's really for anyone who might be interested. Now, again, it says you can use any web authoring tools you want to pub publish the portfolio, etc. You must publish it to iwt.rankin.edu, so I'd like to go through all of the steps. All right, and it says you may create the portfolio as a single site or multi-page site. All right, the first thing I'm going to do, even though we don't have to exactly do it this way, but I am going to be using Mobirize. I've got a bunch of stuff open here, so let me close everything. I'm going to come in, and I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm just going to call it, because I think I already have a portfolio folder out on the Rankin server, so I'm going to call it ePortfolio. There's going to be absolutely nothing in this, okay? I'm going to eventually save into here. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. <clears throat> so... Your site, at a minimum, should contain the following sections or pages. I'm going to build this as a simple one-page site, but you could easily create you know, and turn it into multiple pages. And if you have any questions on how to do that, I'd be happy to show you. So there's going to be a home section, an about you, a resume, a portfolio, and a contact form. All right, I'm just going to go through the steps. I may not drag everything in there, but we'll see. <clears throat> so the portfolio must be built, built either using just straight vanilla HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery. Or if you want, you can add Bootstrap 4, even 5, I guess, if you want, because that's out now, to it. But I'm going to use Mobirize. All right, this is a, a video that will show you how to use Mobirize. Not my video, but it's a different one. <clears throat> Each page section must be similar in style and aesthetically pleasing, etc. So if this is your first class at Rankin, if you're taking the IW or AWD, I should say, 1100 C Sharp class, you won't have any HTML, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, etc. to put in there. So I'm just going to use this, all right? And that's pretty much it. Now, notice I did say in class that it was due by the end of class on Thursday, but since I'd originally put this in here, I do want it by 8 o'clock, all right? So <clears throat> I already mentioned that if you have not done so, then you would have to go out and go out to mobirise.com, all right, if you wanted to do that, and you can download for Windows here. It is a free product. I already have it on my system, so I'm just going to bring it up. <clears throat> all right, when it comes up, it, it's changed quite a bit in the last few versions from what I've seen before. I started this, but I didn't do anything with it at all so i'm just going to literally start fresh or whatever you want to say here so i guess i'll have to restart that sorry about that so let me get rid of the so i don't confuse you or myself there okay so here we are i don't want this one really anymore so i'm just going to come in here and do a and it asks about new themes view live demos i'm just going to say skip all right so i'm going to come in into a new site so create new site. It gives you kind of a goofy name. It calls it site with today's date and then some number after it. So I'm just going to call mine ePortfolio. Okay. And I'm going to put it eventually into something called ePortfolio. And I'll just grab this Mobirize amp that's right here. All right. So this is what I have right now, which basically is nothing. So I'm going to add a blank page. And it says, do you want to create the ePortfolio site based on this theme? Sure. <clears throat> it says, this is a new empty page. Click the plus sign down here to basically get started. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, so it says, what do you want to start doing? Well, I, the first thing I want to do, you don't have to do it this way, but I'm going to add a, a, a menu. So let's see. I think I'll add this menu right here. I drag it in. Boom, I've got a menu. So this is what my site now looks like. Now, a couple things. First of all, I don't really want this here. Okay, so I can remove that logo, all right, and I can change the text or do whatever I want to do with it, change the color, as you can see. But I'm just going to double-click on it, and I'm going to remove the text that's in there. 
and I'm just going to put in e portfolio. Okay, and then here, what did what did it say that we wanted to have in here? It said we wanted. I'm on the home page, so we need about you, resume, portfolio, and contact. All right. So. about you resume and actually I don't even need this because I'm going to make this my resume because the about you is going to be what's right at the front of the page anyway portfolio and contact me <clears throat> Okay, well, that's not bad. So a couple things. I don't want this contact us anymore. So I'm going to click on the gear right here. And I'm going to say, uh, let's see. The button, I'm just going to tell it to remove it. Now that's gone. The brand name, I don't know if, if that's going to remove everything here or not. But let's see. Yeah, it did. And I didn't want that. So uh, the logo is what I don't want. Okay, so now I made changes. And this is what I'll have. So I've got my e-portfolio, my title, resume, and I don't know, are there things in here? New item, new item. I don't need these. So I'm just going to remove that. There should be a way to remove these, but I think I did it. Okay. All right. So that's what I've got so far. Not a whole heck of a lot. I've got the portfolio. I think I just removed something. So let me let me go back and see if I can add something else in here. Menu items uh, should be a way to come in here and add a new one. Let's see. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Insert icon. No, I don't want an icon. <clears throat> add item. There we go. All right. I'll leave the contact me there and I'll just change this one. So we want our uh, I'm going to put the resume here. That looks good. All right. And again, you don't need this here. However you decide to do this is totally fine. All right. So I'm going to click on here. Now, and it says, what do you want to do next? So let's see. We're supposed to put our picture on here. So I'm looking for something where I could add a picture. All right. I don't want it to be too big. So let's see. It would be in the header. Now, be careful because under these more header blocks, <clears throat> with many of these, you have to pay for them. All right, so you might find one under there and say, oh, that one's great. That's what I want, but it's not free. So you probably don't want to choose that one. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to try grabbing that one. Okay, so what does my site look like now? It looks like this. All right, and I'm going to go and change the text that's in here, and I'm going to put in electronic portfolio. In fact, I, I would like it better if it said Jeff Scott Electronic Portfolio. And this is, I don't want this to be as big as that, so I'll make this a, oh, what is it? I think a Title II. Knock it down there. No, I want this one to be a Title I, though. Uh, I think it's all considered the same title. All right, so let me get rid of this. Go back and make this one a Title I again. All right, and I'm just going to remove that. <clears throat> and um, this is my electronic portfolio. I have over um, 30 years of experience in the information technology IT field. I have been a programmer, programmer analyst, and for the past, I'm just going to say 30 years. Um, 
a technical college IT instructor focusing on programming and web, web development design. That's good. Okay. And I can make this bigger if I want to. You get the idea. Now, I don't really want two buttons here, but I'll, I'll put one here. So let's see. Let's go to the gears. And we got buttons. Okay, well, now they're both gone. But I think there's a way to bring back just one of them. Let me bring them back again. If I click on this one, I can remove just that one. There we go. And I'm going to come in here. I'll use the blue color. It's totally fine. I'm going to say... Uh, so what do we have? Uh, I'll put in here portfolio. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to change this image that's in here. But fortunately or unfortunately, I've got to find one of myself. So I don't even know if I have one here. And if I don't, I'll use a stock one of somebody else. So let's see. Double check. Yeah, I am taping. Good. So let me take a quick look in here. No, I don't want to go there. I've got anything in pictures. It would be on my desktop if I had anything. Now, there's going to come back with a ton of stuff here because I've got lots of pings. But I'm just looking for something with me in it. And I know from the way I, I name things, etc. In fact, let me go to name. Sorry, it was my intention to make you watch me scroll here, but, and I don't. Let's see if I have anything down here where it might also be. No, I don't see any pictures of myself that I've got in here. They will almost be on the other machine. So I'm just going to replace the picture that's in there with a stock one. Okay, so I'm going to click here, click on the selected image, and I can crop it here if I want to, but I'm just going to grab something from out of here. And we're going to pretend for now that, that it's me, okay? I'm looking for something that looks somewhat familiar, similar to me, but didn't find anything. Still, it's totally fine. So let's see. Again, you should put a professional-looking image of yourself. I'll just put in this one. There. And I click OK, and there it is. All right. So looking at this, I guess I'd like this to be a little bit, not that, but this, to be a little bit bigger. All right. And I can click anywhere on it. I can bold it. That might help a little bit. But I can just click on it. Let me click on it. And choose, uh, let's see, color, menu, font. Well, there is a way to, I'm sure there's a way to come in here and bold this. Usually when you click, bold is one of the things that comes up here. So let's see, bold. Well, let's just, okay, it bolded all of it except that. Bold. All right, that's a little better. All right, so that's me so far. And what else do we want? So next we've got portfolio and resume in here. So let's put our portfolio block down here. So I'm going to click plus again. Again, how you do this is up to you. But I'm going to click and just drag this in. All right. Now I'm not doing much here with color, so let's just do a little bit. So I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to click on the gear, and where it says background on the color, I'm going to click on um, color right here, and just choose something light. So let's choose this kind of off-white here. It's a little bit better. All right, so I've got that. And then let me come in here and choose yet something else. Again, you don't have to do this. And I'll just leave it white. That's okay. Now, what I'm going to do quickly, at least, hopefully, is I'm going to go down and I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to grab a, and make a couple pictures of a couple of my projects. What do I mean? It's easiest to show you. Um, let's see. I've got a bunch of stuff here. I'm looking for something that's at least somewhat colorful or whatever you want to call it. So let's bring up this uh, SQL. Ah, it's not there, of course. 
So it's probably in here. So let's see what I've got. All right, I think this was a gym thing. Yep, so there's a, a picture of a gym. So I'm just going to take a, a picture of this, print screen. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. I'm going to come in and go to paint, put that in there right like this. And I'm going to save this. And I'm just going to throw it on the desktop. I'll make a quick folder here. So I've got my images in there. And I'm just going to call this Jim Project. <clears throat> okay. And then I'll come in here. Go back into Mobirize. Let's replace this. And I'm going to replace that with Jim Project. Again, I keep clicking the wrong button. So I want to click here on the selected image. And I want to browse my computer. And I'm going to go back to my desktop find that one in images that I just added and just take that and drag that in here all right there it is I'm gonna click OK all right and I'm gonna click here um, Jim website <clears throat> I'd like this to be centered so I'm just aligning it in the center there and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say uh, this is a simple gym slash BMI or let's say body mass index BMI website that I created um, for uh, a demonstration. I gave to Lewis and Clark students in April 2021. Enjoy. All right. <clears throat> now, on this Learn More button, I don't have it linked up because I didn't put this on... on uh, GitHub, but I would click there and I would put a link in there to the actual project. All right, so that's the first one. Uh, the next one here, let's see if I can find another one. I'm going to put three of them in here. They've got three. You can put four if you want. It doesn't really matter one way or the other. So I'm going to click here, come back, and I'm going to find, um, again, I'm looking for something that would resonate, look pretty decent, at least hopefully in here. Um, let's do this SQL tester. All right, uh, bring up the form and let's just run it. I'll take a screenshot of the run. So I'm going to come in here and say select star from products. I don't like this background here, so I'm just going to put in that. Oops, it wasn't what I wanted. That is what I want. All right, so I will execute, and there it is. So I'll take a picture of that. Come in and again, add that picture here. I'm going to save this to the same folder, and I'm going to call it SQL Tester Project. All right, leave that there. So let's go back into Mobirize and change the second picture. So again, drop images here. So I'm going to again browse my computer. It should be the same place the other one was. So I'm just going to drop that in. Click OK. There's that one. And I'm going to come in here and say SQL Tester. This, uh, he doesn't like that. This is, and let me get rid of the rest of this text here, an example structured query language SQL tester program created 
for the AWD 1100 C Sharp programming class again in April 2021. Hope you like it. So there's two of them. And let's do the last one. And I think for this one, let's see, what would I like to put in here? Um, let's see if I've got something that I can bring up from Android Studio. And I don't want this one. This is, I've been working with another, with a student on this. I don't want to, of course, put his stuff up there because it, I didn't create it. So let's see. I'm looking for something that looks a little bit nice. So let's open an existing project here. And I'm going to go to desktop. That's not the way I wanted to do it. Sorry, it's going to be wrong. It thinks that I, my project is called desktop, and it's not my fault. So let's see. Open an existing project. Let's look under 04. In fact, let's go do it like this. Let's let the system hopefully find it for us. 421. Do I have it? No, I don't. So, let me try 221. It's where I keep old copies of stuff I've been working on. And we'll look at the presidential recycler view. <clears throat> and it's going to look probably kind of bad because there's going to be a code background here. And I'm hoping this is one of the ones I have that work. But we're going to find out in just a second. This was a project that we did as a class where we put in a list of presidents and we were able to go through them and make some changes etc to them so it'll take just a second here to come back up that's kind of what it looks like but what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the program so you can see it and i'm going to move it over here so it's going to replace what's here <clears throat> may take a second. It's still loading the project up. It takes a little bit of time. This is my student's project right here. And it, it's going through and it's starting to do the build process now. So this can take anywhere from a half a minute to a couple of minutes. Sorry about that. And it's telling me, of course, that it failed. Oh, that's fantastic. This might be an old one that didn't work. I don't really know. So I'm just rebuilding. It doesn't like this, so let me get rid of this. Oh, maybe it did. I don't know. Nope. So this is Keegan, my, my student. This is his project, so I don't want to use that one because it's his code and not mine. So let me try to close this project and bring up another one. So open an existing project. Let's try and see if, if Presidential Recycler View 2 works. Come on. Come on. All right. So let's come in here. I'm going to let it. Part of the problem, too, is I didn't let this load. It takes, like I said, a couple seconds for it to load. So hopefully it's done loading, and I'm going to run it. And hopefully I don't get any errors this time like I did before. It's going to bring the project up in an emulator, which is a phone simulator. It's not a real thing, but it's meant to look like one. So it's going to look like this, but my project's going to end up being in here. <clears throat> okay, the good news is it says that it finished with no errors. That's good. And there it is. So I'm going to scroll down. I didn't have to do it this way, but this is how I'm doing it. So we've got a picture of our latest president. So print screen I'm again going to come in here and take a picture of this put it in there and I'm going to save this as recycler view project Android okay all right jump, jumping back to Mobirize then I want to replace this so again I'm going to 
browse my computer, I'm going to find that particular image. There it is. Again, these may not all resonate all that well on here, but I'm going to put, put in here. Let's see. Let's start with uh, Android Recycler View. <clears throat> this is an Android Recycler View project created for and with students in the AWD 1112 um, Java Android programming class in March 2021. Again, enjoy. And again, what I want you to understand is I will expect here, these buttons, when you click on a button, you can send a link. So I want you to link to your project that's actually out there. So I want you to link to your project that's actually out there in uh, on GitHub. Okay. All right. So we've got those two things. So in here, I would put my resume. All right. I don't even know if I've got a thing on my resume in here, but I'm just going to I'll grab an article and there should be just there you go and again I'm going to come in here I'm again going to change the background color to this so it matches the one up here background come on color I think we chose that light gray all right <clears throat> this one maybe I'd want to give it some other color so because right now it looks very blah so maybe like a real light yellow or no, that's not good at all. Uh, I'm going to get it back to white. You, you get what I'm saying, though, hopefully. So I'm going to change this to Jeffrey P. Scott resume. All right. And let's see. <clears throat> Let me get rid of this because I don't need it any longer. I just got tons of stuff open here, so I'm just trying to make it a little easier for everybody to read. Um, I don't believe I've got any resume. I'm, I've got my newer machine here, and I don't believe I've got anything on here for a resume. <clears throat> so that's desktop, yeah. So let me try that again. Desktop. Search desktop. I don't know why it's giving me back everything. And it's giving me back this. Let's go back to the desktop. <clears throat> um, let's see. Let's see if I've got it on the other machine here. If I do, I'll quick transfer it over. Sorry for the dead air space, but it is what it is. All right. Well, resume must be some kind of a goofy word on here because I'm getting up all sorts of stuff. That I didn't ask for. Perfect when you're in a hurry, right? <clears throat> Got it. Oh, 
trying to get it. Not allowing me to. There we go. <clears throat> Changes to it. <clears throat> Be quickly do a file save as. Save it to the desktop. <clears throat> and I'm going to email it to myself so I can open it up on the other machine. Again, I apologize for this. I should have been more prepared and I wasn't. Oh, uh, come on. And as always, whenever you're in a hurry, things tend to be working slower than they should. So, I'm trying to bring up Outlook right now so I can email this resume to myself. You're going to hear a couple dings in just a second as it's going to go from one machine to the other. And then I should be able to bring it up. So while I'm waiting, <clears throat> so we don't have too much dead air time in here, I'm going to leave this here, but I'm going to come in and add one more section. And that's down at the bottom. I'm going to put a contact form in here. So let's see. Um, I like this contact us right here, but I'm going to make some changes to it, such as I don't need a map. So I'm going to come into my gear right here. And let's see. I think I should just be able to get rid of it like this, but we'll find out. border well, I don't want this well that's interesting let's do this Let, let's grab and let's remove this all right and I'm going to come back no I'm not going to re-add it but I'm going to add something else I'm going to look at form right here toggle accordion all right So I'm going to put it in here. Let's, oh, I don't like that's an accordion form. I don't want that either. Oh, my goodness. Do they have any kind of simple contact form in here? Nothing like I want. Here, I'll try that one. All right, so I'm going to come in here. I don't want a picture. I should be able to come in here and remove the picture. So image, no, gone. All right, so name, phone, email, that looks okay. It's not fantastic. And again, you should link this up on the button here. So let's see. Well, you should link it up. You should be able to come in here and put a uh, mail to address in there. All right. My Outlook still hasn't loaded on the other page. I don't know why. Let's try this. This is going to look really stupid, but it's what I'm going to do. Let me go to Google Images. And I'm going to type in resume. And I'm just going to put in this one. It's not my resume, but I'm going to... Um, save the image as and i'll save it it's got resume logo that's fine because i don't know why it's not loading on the other one but that's fine so resume logo that's okay then i'm going to go um, over to here and change this and say uh, shown below 
is a copy of my resume. Feel free to contact me for a potential interview at jpscott at rankin.edu. No, I'm not looking for a job. I'm just putting this in here. All right. Um, thank you for your consideration. All right. Now I want to come in here and I want to add. Let's see. I want to add an image. So I'm going to click on the images. And uh, there's that resume. Okay, that looks absolutely terrible, so I'm not going to use that one. So I don't want to bring an image in that way. So let me get rid of that. So it looks like I can crop this, which is what I would want to do. So let's see. Probably want it like that. I'd want to pull it down. I don't know if I'm making it better or worse right now. So no, I made it didn't make it any different. Oh my gosh. I should be I should be able to just come in here. And on the image, I should be able to just remove it. That isn't what I want. That was, oh, I'm in the wrong section. Okie dokie. I don't want an image there, of course. I'm going to be in this section right here. This is great. I don't remember how to remove an image from here. So, <sighs> see if I can. I'll just leave it like that. That's not good, but you get the idea, hopefully. So what do I have in here? I've got a section. This is, again, pretty much supposed to be my About Me section. This I want to link down to my portfolio here. And I really should have come in here and put a title in here that said Portfolio. So let's do that. I'm going to go to Article. I'm going to find a little uh, something like this, this website builder. And I'm going to put it, let's see, right there. Click in here. A couple things. I don't want it to say free website builder. I want it to say portfolio examples. Okay, I'm going to fix this up just a little bit. I don't want this thing of text in here. So this uh, the title. Let me just highlight all that text get rid of it that's good so in here i want to come in it was pretty much the way it was shown in the video and um, my content title the bottom bring that up and then i want to let's take this and center it looks a little better and uh, let's see i'm going to take this and the top i'm going to move that over so that looks a little bit better my resume thing that's here, I can take this and center it as well. All right. So, oh, I don't have three Fs in my name. There you go. All right. So I've got all this. So let's do a little bit of linkage. In other words, for portfolio, I want to put a link in here. And I want it to go down on the page. And let's see. Site pages. Lock on home page. It's showing me over here where it's going to go down to. Hoping that's where I want it to go, but we'll find out. So insert a link there. 
resume. Same thing. Again, I want to click on there and go to page, block on the page. Resume, insert the link. These may not be going to exactly the right place. You're going to have to do a little playing around with it. So I'm going to do this one last time. Page, block on the page, and the contact. And insert link. Finally, on my portfolio here, again, I want to bring that down, and I want to link that on the page. And I'm going to, I think this is the right thing. We'll find out in just a minute. So the big reveal. So let's preview it. This is what it would actually look like on the page right now. All right. So it's not terrible, but it's not great for something I literally threw together in a matter of minutes. All right. So let's look on here. Portfolio. No, I got to make it go down further. Resume. There's the resume. Okay. Contact me. There goes the contact page and the portfolio didn't go down. So I have to fix that one. So let me get out of here and go back into MobiRise and try to fix my portfolio link, which right now I don't want it to go to header to one. Let's try this. I don't know if that's correct or not, but let's try it again. And again, try to click portfolio. There we go. So I can go to my portfolio examples. All right. You can put links in here if you want hyperlinks to jump around on the page if you want to do that. All right, so I've done all that. So what's next? Okay, it's really not a whole lot to do. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to go back in here into Mobirize. And I want to say that I want to publish it. Now, if you remember earlier, I created that blank folder and I want to put it in there. If you screw up, get rid of the folder and recreate it. Don't keep putting it in there or it'll goof up. So I'm going to click publish. And I'm going to publish it to a local driver folder. I'll browse for it. It's on my desktop. And I called it ePortfolio. I'm going to double check and make sure that's empty. It's good, zero. So I'm going to tell it to put it right there. And select folder. And I'm going to tell it to publish it there. All right. So it's there and it's ready to go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I have to go and get my uh, badge for the morning, so I'm going to stop for just a minute. I'm going to pause this and come back in just a minute. All right, I had some issues, and I'm hoping that they've been resolved. So let me go into FileZilla. Let me see if I can log in as me. So iwt.rankin.edu. I put in my username. I put in my password. Hopefully, I put it in, in a correct manner. Put in the port number, 21. And if it tells me that it can't let me in, then I'm hosed, for lack of better words. All right. It says I'm in. Good. All right. So notice I've got a portfolio, a portfolio two, et cetera. What I want is over here. I want to grab my ePortfolio that I just created, and I want to drag it into here. So I think typically it works better if you drag it into the top one, but if it doesn't, I'll try the bottom one. So I'm going to drag it and let go. And it looks like now it's copying everything over. We're going to find out very quickly whether or not this works. When it gets done, it dings a little bit, and I get a message, a dialog that comes up here. When I get done, I'm going to try everybody's password and reset them. There, there it is. Transfers have all finished. So it looks like everything worked, but we'll find out in just a minute. How do we find out? Well, I come in here and I type in iwt.rankin.edu slash jpscott slash ePortfolio slash. <clears throat> now it's thinking about it. I'm hoping that it's just going to bring it up. I guess we'll see. If I get an error or whatever, then something is wrong. Now, what I'm going to do when I get done is I'm going to try to log in. I've been having problems getting in so I can reset your passwords, but I am going to do that. I'm going to reset everyone's password. But the process that I just went through is the entire process. What I'd like to be able to do is to show you what this looks like when it's running.
as you can see it's spinning here there it is so there's the one that i just copied over all right so again click on portfolio i guess it didn't like that that, that goes to my portfolio examples that's good i can click on contact me i can click on my resume i can click on the portfolio so you see that again these right here all right this whole thing on here should be hyperlinked so if you're going to have these in at least on your button and this should go to your github page all right your resume should be in here and a contact form should be in here if you have questions over and above what i just showed you all right you'll have to let me know all right and with that said i'm going to stop the taping right now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and check everybody's password and make sure they all work okay i'll be talking to you momentarily